up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Odai J and we are locked in. This is the five minute prediction of Monet Tejada going into episode four. Now, what we've seen so far is maybe Monet might be the most ruthless, terrifying mother that we've seen in the whole power universe. She's making Tasha St. Patrick look like a saint. She's making Raquel Thomas look like an after school activity teacher. Monet Tejada has been having the kids put in their work since they were knee high. Now, before we jump into this and we get a predictions for Monet going into episode four, if you like power content like this, breakdowns, theories, and predictions, after show discussions, then you're at the right spot. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Man, we on that road to 50,000 subscribers. We need 1,100 more, and I appreciate each and every one of you. So let's go ahead and jump into it. This is the Monet Tejada predictions for episode four. Monet's story is finally starting to come together, and I might be interested in actually seeing the origin story from her. But now we see why Drew and Diana are so close in the way Monet treats them because she had them at an early age bagging up drugs for her. So their relationship is close. They both went behind Monet's back to try to get her set up. But if we look from these flashbacks, Monet's been treating them like employees and not as children. So now as they've grown up, that's just been the model that they went by. Hey, I'm the boss, I'm in charge, I'm trying to start me up a business, y'all all gonna work for me. Drew, you're gonna be Zeke's assistant. Diana, you're gonna handle the money in the books. You see what I'm saying? Monet has always looked at this family as more of an organization and not a family. So now it's rolling over into the real world experiences that we're seeing now. And since we know that the kids try to set her up, she's got to get the ones she employed. Starting with Diana, the trust between these two never really been there. This is the fourth season and it's the same old, same old, same old. You get to the Tejada family dinner table, Diana is going to mess up dinner. Monet noticed she's been lying and now that Monet knows she went to go over to Kate's house off of the ring camera, her priority is to get Diana out of here. Now, this is still her daughter. Diana has changed a little bit and showed some sympathy towards her since she got out the hospital. But we see in the trailer that Kane is telling Monet that we need to get rid of Diana. So this is going to be kind of a tough decision. But Monet knows if they could do it once, they could do it again. And we're not going to leave Drew out of this because Monet found out that Drew had something to do with it when they both ran out of the house. So she might tell Kane to stand down. But Kane, as I mentioned in Tariq's prediction, he could go haywire and off course at any moment. There is still some speculation about Cousin Janet. We did hear about Cousin Janet telling Lorenzo that she had a gun, that they were riding around with Lorenzo Jr. in the car, and now she's just sticking around. And we keep hearing her talk about, hey, when we were young, you wanted to be like me. Hey, when we were young, we should jam out to this. Now, to me, I'm sensing a little bit of jealousy. Now, they were supposed to be having a going away for Janet, but then Diana messed that up because she set up Monet and Tariq sent the camera footage over there. So it looks like Janet might still be sticking around. Now, there's one or two angles we could go with this. Maybe she knows Don Carter. And then again, maybe she might know Kamal Tate. Now, we know that she's told before. So Monet's going to have to watch her very, very closely. But we can see Monet's guard is down a little bit just for the simple fact that now she has to worry about her kids. So Janet is a prime suspect. and We can't trust anybody until we trust them. As crazy as things may seem, the only person Monet can really trust at this moment is Tariq St. Patrick. Even though Tariq was hired, quote unquote, from Diana and Drew to unalive Monet, he didn't do it. Tasha did it. But the relationship between him and Monet, we're seeing it build. He's building that trust back up. He told her about Kate Egan. They both met up with Pinky. Pinky ended up sending the information to Tariq because he's been breaking her off with some bread. And Tariq has now sent the footage over. So all Monet can go off of is Tariq's word. Tariq didn't do the shooting. And now it looks like maybe Drew did the shooting and Diana was just in the car. Tariq's going to have to lay low, but at least this is buying him some time. With the truce with Noma and now Monet putting her trust in Tariq, she's going to go to him for more answers. Now the only kid that Monet is going to have to worry about is Kane. We do see that Kane is protective of his mother and he's been avid on finding out who did this. But now he's seen the footage and he's gonna be going after Diana and Drew. Now I did mention that Monet treats all of her kids more like employees than as children, but 
she's not going to want her kids to be on the line, especially by Kane. And we know that Kane, this is his goal. Y'all played us, then I'm about to erase you. So she's going to have to watch him closely. And remember, Kane is finally getting close to Noma and told his mom he doesn't want to work with her. He'd rather be over there. So there's going to be a little friction with that. But as far as the Tejada family ties go, well, she's going to have to tell Kane, listen, I'm okay with you working with Noma, but let me handle my own kids. I don't want you getting involved in this because she's still a mother, even though she treats them like employees. All right, there you go. My five minute prediction on Monet Tejada. Let me ask you a question. Who is she going to be more worried about? Kane going after her kids or her other two kids being the ones that set her up? Which one should be a number one priority for Monet going into episode four? And is she ever going to get back on good terms with Noma? Because Noma did suspend her and told her to sit at the house. Let me know what you think. That's my predictions on Monet Tejada. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. I love y'all. I'm out.